Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 47. And if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 6 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet um, incentive one. Actually, we're going to go to 6.2 incentives. Section 6.2 is all about incentives. That means what? The more you make or sell, the more you are paid. And we have a bunch of examples here. So we're going to start off here. This is an example of piecework. So they say, OK, we're going to pay you $1.35 for every boomerang you make. So if you make 120, then your gross earnings are going to be what? Now, this example here, where we are paid uh, in pennies. So if you multiply these two, you're, you're never going to get a rounding error. But this pay can be partial pennies. You could actually have a contract where it says, we'll pay you, you know, 13 and a half cents for every you know, the shade made or something. So I'm going to use the round. Again, in this particular example, we wouldn't run into trouble. Just that's the amount per item. That's how many items, comma, two. This is to the penny, All right, 162. Now our next example, we're going to go over to sheet I2. And here we have small lamps, shades, large lamps. So we have a number of different items. And you make a number of different items in the day. Here's how many you made. Here's the pay each. So we simply do a straight calculation. Just as we did in the last example, round the number made times the price each. Those are relative cell references. So when I copy it down, the blue and the green will move down, comma 2. You know, I keep putting closed parentheses. But on this calculation, you can just Control Enter. And it puts it in for you. You can see. Control Enter and then copy it down. Now, these are all rounded, right? So there is, there are no extraneous pennies there, right? And you can see in this example, there was a half. So these two had half pennies that they were paid. Um, and so I can simply add. No need to use the round here. Alt equals and Enter. Those are just two quick uh, piecework examples. Our next video uh, will do a more complicated piecework example where you have uh, multiple pay rates uh, depending on the number of items you make. All right, see you next video.